tonight uh, they've got a lot of key components of that offense out. Uh, the Clippers do. Kawhi Leonard will not play. Rajon Rondo will not play. Marcus Morris is out. Seeing his confidence coming out here and draining the first one. Well, you know, Matt, uh, he was 11 of 19 in the first four games he played for Houston, which is a fantastic percentage. Zubak wow. puts it up and it makes those uh, open shots way easier. Yeah, they can afford to get out on him. They don't have to really guard anybody. Jay Sean Tate puts it up and in. You're going to see a lot more of that. All the way back outside again. Patterson picked up. Oh, Zubat's wide open. How does a big guy like that get so open? Patrick Beverly, Patrick Patterson, Morris, three X Rockets on that Clippers team. Jay Sean Tate rattles it on. We could also put uh, DeMarcus Cousins in that category, although it was a very short lived Rockets experience. Nice pass back. Paul George. I think what Tyron Lue is trying to do is uh, to be sure everybody's healthy and ready to go. And Patterson, that's something he did after he left Houston was develop a three-point shot. Been able to develop a three-point shot to spread the defenses. And as long as you can make those threes, you can play until you can't run anymore. Armani with the money. With the miss. And good job by Christian Wood as he puts it up with the left hand, won't go. Nicholas Batum just checked in. Long pass down to Patterson. Uh, he was cherry picked. Cross court. They'll set it up. Nice little fake. Takes it into the basket for two. Yeah, that John Wall getting a lot of assist. If you move, he's got five assists already. If you move, he's going to find you. And George, there's another one of those veteran whistle. Five or six picks, uh, the supposedly can't miss guys. And there's Wall again. Just keeps doing it night in, night out. Batum gets it right back out to George again. Shoots it for three. <laughs> Comes into the game. He's such a good passer. And that's going to be hanging in the weeds. John Wall to the basket. <laughs> With a little attitude. Dunk. Paul George back the other way for two. Why don't they just let those two go one-on-one? -on -one? Do I want defense or offense? He says, I want offense. We need to score points to put people in the stands. And so he went out and got Rudy and Calvin. Yeah, Tad and his wife Janice, those four beautiful daughters, uh, they've been a big part of this franchise for a long time. In fact, uh, when I speak about Ray Patterson and Tad Brown, those are the two best presidents and general managers the Rockets have ever had. John Wall directing traffic, seven seconds, down to six. John will step back and fire and hit. Kennard. DeMarcus, did he travel? Rockets are very thin on the point guard spot. Martin puts it up and in. Oh, wait till he starts hitting that full time. K.J. Martin, along with Tom Janovich and Murphy and Elvin, of course, wasn't too far removed from that 1968 game of the century. Paul George looks up at the shot clock, sees two seconds. Good steal by Olenek and Wall. And John Wall gets the slam. That's super defense by Kelly Olenek. That's a couple of really nice defensive steals for him. And Paul George puts a damper on. Tate with the miss. Zubats gets it outside in a hurry. Good pass to Reggie Jackson. It's his third foul. Oh, great pass by Christian Wood and Olenek for two and one. And away, Armani Brooks had ten rebounds in the last game as he gets the rebound there. Alley oop inside and a perfect play. Batum, Patterson. Uh, the defensive boards are killing the Rockets. Yes, indeed. So Paul George with 17 points. He's also got five rebounds, and he's got another three. That was a two-for-one shot there, too, right, yeah. on the, right on the money. About nine-second difference, shot clock, game clock. Christian Wood from the corner, and it rattles in. Oh, and man, Murph... Uh, 
And you know on satellite people would watch us and so we'd go to the away arenas Matt. There's a beautiful basket by Christian Wood. There'd be more cookies waiting for him on the road than there would be at home. Yeah, yeah my problem was I don't know where them cookies came from. That was the only problem. <laughs> well, I saw you eat every one of them. No, that's not true. Yeah. That's not true. Well, you brought up a good point. It's not all about the NBA. It's about your total career. You're right. Well, he had a great career, of course, uh, averaging 15 rebounds a game at Michigan. And, and, and uh, you know, all the greats from uh, uh, up around the Warriors. What was Rudy's real success? I mean, he'd take you out 20 feet and bank it. Uh, I remember the night where he banked a shot. He, he, he banked so many shots on Dick Greger, they had to go out on the court and pick him up. <laughs> Pass inside to George, and he's strong enough to get it to go, and he gets a free throw. What was uh? I used to enjoy when I watched you guys play. You had the little pocket jumper that you would take you get guys falling back. It's for Give me. me three. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to be so much fun to see you there at the Hall of Fame with Rudy and such a deserving guy. To win, to win the gold. Because that, that bronze team, I mean, that was like the third tier players. What a yeah. great basket. You know how sensitive players are too, Calvin. Uh, it's you yourself too uh, had some coaches that, you didn't believe it. Those championship years, they were superstars out there. You had Mad Max. You had, of course, the first year, which one of my favorite was Otis Thorpe. You know, these guys who didn't get the credit for what they did. Come May the 15th as it was even when you got in. Oh, absolutely. You know, and Bill, you, 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 you've been knowing me for 100 years. You know I'm an emotional person anyway. Oh, sure. Well, Murph, we thank you, but uh, we got to wrap it up here because uh, in a minute they're going to call a timeout as John Wall hits another jumper. You're going to show me how to get that, right? Yeah, we'll just flip your phone open and I'll. Oh, to the basket! Another power dunk by KJ Martin. 82-81, Rockets lead by one. Daniel House puts it up and in for a three. I, Cousins didn't jump fast enough and it looked like he was on a trampoline anyway. And there's Olenek with a three. Clippers with the basketball. Batum looking in to Zubats, puts it up and in. That was uh, Daquan Jeffries, I believe, and uh, here we are now back to Reggie again, who arced one up well. well the Rockets have uh, made enough threes here tonight to pull the Clippers out of the zone. Inside again. Great catch. About a 40-foot pass that was perfectly on the money. Wasn't it? 25 and 12, and there's another basket. Jackson is red hot. Jackson averages uh, 10 points a game, but he is a terrific three-point shooter. 45%. John Wall again hits. Not as big as Otis Thorpe, but always plays, doesn't he? Yep. Laces him up and plays every night. Oh, what a shot by Paul George. He just invented that on the run. Yep, to the three-point line. Rockets not getting any penetration. That's knocked away by Martin, and the basket is good. Well, that's a good reaction right there. Reggie's had a big second half, and he goes all the way to the bucket for two more. Reggie Jackson now. Paul George, and that's why they're paid the big bucks. Paul George again. Whew, man, he's good. Isn't he good? 126 and counting left to play. Rockets down by two three-pointers. They're going to go instead inside. Finger roll. So Reggie Jackson with a 14-point fourth quarter to lead the Clippers to the win, 109 to 104.